Five, four, three, two, one. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Techie Prepper. That's me. Um, today we are going to be covering something that's kind of near and dear to my heart. It's an all-star in my prepping lineup. I honestly do not go anywhere without it. I generally keep this in a backpack in my car in case I get uh, isolated somewhere where I don't have uh, power available to me to charge up my cell phone. Um, it goes camping with me, so uh, it can be used under a myriad of conditions, a lot of different scenarios, and basically it gives you a little bit of power anywhere that you have it, uh, which can be vital if you need to make an emergency phone call or charge uh, batteries and that type of thing. This particular one is 20 watts. That's what it's rated at, but generally you get about 15 out of it. They always rate panels higher um, because those are under ideal lab conditions. That's what they get out of it, so that's what they rate it at. But as uh, many of you probably know, you never get the full rated capacity out of a photovoltaic panel. So um, anyways, it's good enough, like I said, to give me power um, to run a lot of items that uh, I feel necessary when camping or hiking. So basically it is, uh, like I said, it's 20 watts. Uh, the dimensions are approximately 10 inches by six inches by an inch and a half when it's folded up. It has nice little um, molded rings on here. I put a carabiner in here and I attach it to my backpack on the outside. Uh, it is weather resistant, so I wouldn't say weatherproof but uh, it's a weather resistant material and the electronic uh, innards, so to speak, are somewhat protected. But you know, I wouldn't go dunking it in a lake or anything like that if you can avoid it. Um, so basically, let me break it out for you, show you how it is. When you fold it out, whoops, this fell out, but that's just the default cable that comes with this particular model. So as you can see, you fold out, there's three different solar panels on it. And it goes to about um, 26 inches long, I believe, right close to that when you fold it out. You see there's three panels and you wanna lay this flat or uh, be better yet to angle it you know, towards the sun uh, with a better angle of business. You wanna aim it towards the sun. If the sun's say, uh, you know, in late afternoon, you wanna, um, for optimal power output, you want to go ahead and tilt this up a little bit, place it on a rock or on your backpack or something like that. So, uh, okay, now back to it. So when you fold it out like this, it's just Velcro that holds it together. It folds up and the Velcro holds it. You fold it out and it's got two little pockets. If you notice the one pocket, you can put, it's got Velcro in here as well, but it's kind of divided once you put the Velcro and attach the Velcro. So I keep my, um, phone cord in here, which also uh, will fit a power bank. And I'll explain the value of that in a minute. This is a good partnership between these two. So um, this goes in here in the pocket. And then on the other side of the pocket, hopefully you can see it. If not, um, I'll show it in the video where I actually show this uh, under test. So it's got two USB outputs that are built right into the circuitry of the solar panels. So what that means is nothing else is required. Uh, once you lay this out in the sun and you have your appropriate cord, USB cord, you plug the USB into one or both. You can fun both function at the same time simultaneously so you can charge two devices at once. The amperage for each one drops at that point, but if you have two phones that you need to charge up or that type of thing, you can do that, no problem. Now, as I mentioned, what I do is I use this in conjunction with a power bank. It's a typical USB power bank, this was a little bit older. And uh, what I do, and you'll see the value to this, like I said in a minute when I go through the, the operation of this, but if you pair these together, it allows you to charge this up and use this over um, 
because this is just a power output device. It doesn't store any energy. So what you want to do is you want to take this and either feed it into a phone with a battery or something else uh, that, that actually charges up that can hold that charge with a battery uh, inside of it. So what I use is the power bank. And the reason I use this is uh, twofold. One, once this starts charging, if a cloud comes over and shades the panels, it will drop the, amp the charging amperage down and sometimes phones get a little finicky, the charging circuitry. If they see that this charging is stopped and it ramps up slowly again once the cloud leaves, it doesn't come back instantaneously, it ramps up slowly. And sometimes some phones won't catch that as a charging current and it won't restart. So if you set this out and you set your phone on here to charge and you come back two hours later and you expected it to be 30%, 40% charged up and you have 5% or something like that, that's probably what happened. So the way around that um, and to expand the use of this is to take it, lay it out, and then connect this with your cord and charge up your battery bank. This will charge up anytime you put energy into it. Um, it's a dumb device. So basically, you know, some may be smarter than others, so you might want to check on that, but and test for your own usage. But this particular one, and the majority of them, when they sense any input as far as uh, amperage and voltage, you know, energy input, it will absorb that. So basically, I charge this up during the day. And that allows me to, at night, charge my phone several times. Or if you're camping and you need a light, you know, obviously you can run any accessory off of this that uses USB. You see, this is a nice camping light you can run in the tent, or if you need it for an emergency flashlight um, or anything like that, you can do that from this. You cannot do, do that directly from this, say at night. So um, I've also used this to charge up uh, nickel metal hydride rechargeable AA and AAA batteries for my flashlights. And I can take, charge this, use the solar panel, charge this up. And then it's, I have a five volt DC um, charger for those batteries. So that comes in pretty handy so I can charge up for a flashlight. You can do, you know, weather radios that you have that are USB crank, that you can rechargeable batteries um, if you have the right cables and that type of thing. So uh, your usage will vary. You just have to make sure you have the right accessories and cords. But, um, I bought this probably five years ago. It cost me $30, I think, on sale. Typically, they run about $50 these days. It's uh, uh, summer 2021 right now, and they're going for about $50 online. Um, and then if you get this particular power bank, I can charge this approximately twice over a full day, uh, if I had to, the capacity of it. This particular one is a 10,000 milliamp hours, so 10 amp hours. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So hopefully now we'll go out to the operational uh, portion of the video and I'll show you exactly what this thing can do and how it works. Okay, so now we've got to set up out in the driveway. I'll show you, remember this one is, uh, this particular model is a 20 watt unit. So you would expect it five volts to get four amps, but you really never get that because of inefficiencies. That is rated at the, uh, the optimal conditions in a lab so you'll never get that out in the wild when you're actually using it but as you can see what I did is I, I plugged my meter into one of the two USB outputs and I put this um, setup in a box to shade it from the Sun uh, that's one important factor you have to consider when using these is if you're using them out in the wild anywhere you have the Sun you want to take your phone or whatever you're charging and you want to put it perhaps underneath it somehow um, or shade it somehow whatever you're charging because uh, a lot of these devices phones um, especially have a tendency to overheat and then they will stop charging so you don't want them to get too hot um, so whatever you can do to shade them uh, that would be great um, you don't want to start it charging have a charge and then you walk off uh, to do something else and you come back an hour later thinking it's been charging the whole time but really it hasn't been um, because it stopped five minutes in because it overheated so just a little tip there so I have my meter hooked up and you can actually see it's uh, 5.11 volts at 0.42 amps it's a very hazy day today so 
the sun isn't uh, optimal. Uh, I have seen that go up as high as about 2.8 amps. That's about the most I've squeezed out of it, which is pretty good actually, um, because your typical USB charges at one amp. Um, and then you have your um, 2.4 amp outputs that were the high outputs up till just a little while ago. And now with fast charging, it's three amp plus. So you get a pretty decent amount out of this, um, approaching the fast charging amperage of three uh, on a really bright sunny day. I'll hook a phone directly up to it in a minute. So I'm back. Uh, I wanted to show you, I know I had told you that uh, this will work directly charging a phone. So I wanted to show you that it does in fact work. Uh, I have an iPhone hooked up to it currently. You can see that it is charging. You got your lightning bolt on the green battery. And currently it's pulling, we did get a little voltage sag. It's 4.7 two volts at 0.76 amps even on a hazy day like this getting something in your battery or your phone if you really need it to make an emergency call and you're stuck somewhere could come in very handy okay thank you everybody for um, sticking with me through the product description and the demonstration hopefully you've learned something today and you can see why this particular item is something that I never leave home without Literally. Actually, I always keep it in my backpack, but I take my backpack and I leave it in my car unless I leave the car and to go hiking or something, and then I take this with me. Um, there's great value in this, especially if you pair it with a battery pack. Uh, it, it, you know, if you need to make an emergency call somewhere, heaven forbid, your battery dies in your car and you're stranded out somewhere, um, which actually has happened to me and worked before. I used to travel to some very remote locations and um, I've had uh, the car battery, go, or actually truck battery go completely dead. And of course, what happens next? Your cell phone battery goes dead. So um, I actually whipped this out and I gave it probably about five minutes worth of charge and my phone cranked up and I was able to make a call. So um, it literally can be a lifesaver. And for approximately $50, as I mentioned, I'll pair this with a you know $20 power brick. Um, and uh, you have a pretty good solution to take with you everywhere. Thank you for watching my video. I appreciate your support. Links to any of the products covered in my videos can be found below, as well as a link to my website, thetechieprepper.com. On the website, I actually go into a little more detail, uh, showing some uh, basic schematics, more detailed photos, and that type of thing for everything that I cover uh, within my YouTube videos. So don't be afraid to go there and check it out if you're interested. Uh, as you can probably tell from the video production, I do this as a hobby. I have a full-time job, but my YouTube videos I put out there to hopefully help people better prepare for emergencies or to endure emergencies with a little more comfort and capability. So that being said, if you are interested in my content or you liked it, please like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you know when I have a new video coming out. and. Also important is to share with friends, family, anybody who you think might be interested in this content and you might want to help out, uh, you know, like I said, to better prepare for emergencies. So um, that's all I have for now. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. And hopefully I'll have something cool to show you next time. Thanks. Bye.